super good. I spit. So good, I spit. <laughs> Dude. preserved lemon hummus is a little bit different than what you normally get but right? normally hummus is garbanzo chickpea uh, tahini garlic some olive oil that's about it uh, we are adding some special ingredients which is preserved lemon so I made these it takes about two months to make these um, but you you can use the flesh and you can use the rind. In most recipes, you just use the rind. So it just peels right off. We're gonna start with just the rind. And then if we decide we want more lemon, after we taste it, we're gonna add it back in. So it just peels right off. These are very salty. So all this is is a bunch of spices, a bunch of lemon juice, and salt and a little water to fill up the gap. Here we go. It's not coming off as easy. Right? So we're gonna give that a little slice, throw away the, the bit of the, where the stem was. Rough chop. gonna all get blended smooth. We're gonna start off with uh, three quarters of a lemon and with the garbanzo beans. Gonna do a lot of garlic. Uh, we have like six, eight there. Tahini, tahini we're gonna go, you can go as much as 50-50. 50% tahini, 50% garbanzos. Uh, there are recipes that call for that. That's not how I like it. I like it a little less. We're gonna go about half this container. A little less, maybe. Tahini, if you haven't ever had it, tahini is basically uh, similar to peanut butter, but made with uh, sesame seeds. So it's sesame seed paste instead of peanut butter. Mm, it is good. Little pepper. I'm gonna do salt after. Mm. Bit of extra virgin olive oil. Start with a bit. Add more if we need to. Which we probably need to. Also, you can add the uh, the can of beans the, from the from the can of the garbanzo beans. These are canned beans. You can use the juice and use that for make it smooth. We'll see how this goes. So we're gonna give this just a let it rip. Give it a pull a couple. Of you can do this uh, liquid, super flavorful, super salty. I'm gonna add a little of that. I'm still not getting quite enough. There's a lot of, a lot of tahini in there lot of garbanzo so still not quite got enough flavor I want. That's it. A little more pepper. A little more pepper. And then we're just gonna let it get smooth. Just a tiny more salt. Right there. Now we're just gonna let this go for a bit. A little, get a little more smooth, a little more even. Okay. 
That's the texture we want, where it can drip a little bit. So it's really smooth, flavor is perfect. And then I'm gonna let this rest all night. We're gonna serve it up tomorrow. When we serve it up, we're gonna serve it up with a little chopped parsley, probably. Uh, you can definitely take uh, lemon zest, or in this case, what I think I'm gonna do is, is really finely chop some preserved lemon and add that on the top. Um, some people like this with a little, just a little olive oil, olive oil coating on the top, so just a little olive oil. Um, you know, there's all kinds of other spices you can add. You can use uh, red pepper. Whatever, whatever you like. Um, I am a little more of a purist. I like to eat, uh, I like hummus just as hummus. I don't like all the added stuff as much. But this is really super good. Ton of flavor. We need a little, and also more smooth. Oh. Shout out, look, check out my sweet new duds. Uh, my buyer specialist Haley got me this for Christmas so that I look more professional in my cooking videos. 